after a Texas town and damaging hail in Colorado, plus a dangerous heat wave we continue to monitor. Miguel Almaguer reports from Texas. Tonight, the twisted and tortured landscape of Matador. This is what's left of the small Texas town, shredded by a powerful summer twister. Nearly every home, business, and building in this community of 600, a skeletal remain. And we could hear the porch being ripped off the side of the house. And then we could hear the roof being ripped off. With Matador declared a disaster by the governor, the preliminary EF3 tornado showed no mercy as it swept into town. An hour and a half outside Lubbock, killing four. Brooke Brandon rode out the storm on her walker alone at home. I had no other choice but to stay right in the hallway because there was nowhere else for me to go that I wouldn't die. The misery in Texas came at nearly the same time as mayhem in Colorado. Outside Denver, dozens pelted during a dangerous hailstorm at an outdoor concert, leaving some hospitalized and others with broken bones. As other storms barreled across the East Coast, record 97-mile-per-hour winds knocked out power in Houston. Today, 18 million across Texas are under heat alerts, where a potentially deadly combination of sweltering temperatures and stifling humidity shattered six records on Wednesday. But tonight, back in Matador... We can rebuild whatever. That's not a problem. As long as they're okay, we're, we're okay. A reason to be grateful amid so much loss. Miguel, a devastating scene there in Matador. Do authorities believe everyone is now accounted for? Well, Lester, incredibly they do, in part because this is such a small town where everyone knows one another, but make no doubt about it, the destruction here is massive. This is just one business, but I want to give you a shot from our drone overhead. It'll show you just how widespread the scope of the damage here. This is repeated block after block. Lester, for some communities and some folks, it's going to take years to rebuild. Lester. Yeah, the trees stripped of their leaves. All right, Miguel, thanks. At the 